Okay, everyone, let's get started. I see some new faces tonight. So on behalf of the Greater Pittsburgh Oily Mom Support Group, welcome, yes, welcome. I know paddling essential oils to your family and friends can be really, really hard sometimes. So from one oily mom to another, I hope you learned something tonight. All right, so the new girls in the room, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Kristen. Um, I've been an oily mom for three weeks. My old babysitter texted me and said I could uh, be my own boss working from my phone. And well, you know, I like essential oils, but uh, really I could use the extra money. <laughs> Thank you, Kristen. Hi, I'm Kathy, uh, short for Cthulhu. Um, I've been oily my whole life, but after hibernating under sea, for quite some time. The mom part is a little rusty. I'd love to connect with some other moms in the same boat. So, oh, um, I really don't think Rachel. I don't understand. Need I remind you that all are welcome in our group. All that that's required is a love for essential oils that in a valid form of payment processing fees apply. Okay, girls. So why don't we go around the room and everyone talk about their favorite essential oil. Okay, well, I like peppermint oil. Well, because? Because it smells great. Kristen, that's such a good start. But let's try adding in an ailment that the oil definitely cures. Okay, let's ask our pro Rachel. Rachel, can you demonstrate for us, hon? Of course. All right, well, my favorite is Ylang Ylang. Two drops of my daughter's neck, and it cures her amnesia. Thank you, Rachel. Okay, Kathy, what is your favorite essential oil? Essential? Listen, ladies, if there's anything I've learned about oils in my 1,200 years, it's that you cannot let them boss you around, okay? You control the tentacles, not them. You're the essential one. No, that's really not- Rachel! That Kathy, I just gotta say, I love that hashtag boss babe energy, please continue. Anyways, my favorite scent doesn't have a name because it comes from a gland I have in my oil sack. Scientists say that it simulates death. Oh, okay, Cassandra, that was a great pitch, but let's remember that the handbook forbids producing your own oils. Remember, if you look on page two, oils must be purchased from corporate at an incredibly high markup. Okay, are we good? Handbook, corporate, back in my day, oily moms answered to no one. We'd sink entire fleets. We'd flood the Eastern seaboard. We'd go to home goods and pay with Kohl's cash. Okay, no, I really think that this is not- If decimating the 19th century whaling industry is how Kathy asserts her energy, energy, we should celebrate that. Or do I need to bring out the Beyonce PowerPoint again? Okay, times are changing, and I guess I need to adapt, so are you in charge? Do I show you my underbelly to establish submission? Uh, no, that's not oh, right. Um, I have a question. Um, when do we start making a profit? <laughs> <laughs> profit? Girl? You'll make a profit right after I start vaccinating my kids. Okay, Kristen. If you're really serious about this, what you need to do is you need to recruit other oily moms as your downstreams. And then you can profit off the sales that they make. I mean, that sounds kind of slimy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in heat. No, I mean, um, shady, unethical. Okay, okay. Think of it this way. Your downstreams are beautiful young lambs. And your business is as a vengeful, God demanding blood. Sometimes you gotta make sacrifices. You catch my drift, girl? Ah, power. I understand power. So, what if the only thing downstream from you is a sewage plant and the stream is less of a stream and more of a swampy sulfur vent? Um, I, I guess that's fine. You just. You're just gonna have to be a little more creative and like get outside, look outside your network. 
it's like this. It's like what they say, there's always a sucker, I mean, a person born every minute, and chances are they have a mom. Okay, thank you, Rachel. Why don't we actually try a little role play exercise? All right, so Kristen, you're the new mom. Kathy, you're the oily mom. And Kathy, I want you to try to recruit Kristen as your downstream. Action. Okay. <laughs> Hello, I'm an oily mom. Be my downstream. No. What? Uh, I'm not interested. Resistance is futile, mortal. Surrender to the power of my primordial ooze. <sighs> Sorry, I'm late. Turns out there's another oily mom meetup tonight, and that one is filled with a bunch of freaks. Took me 20 minutes just to slide back out the door. <laughs> Wait, is this room 201 or room 102? Room 102. Well, this is awkward. I should probably go. Uh, oh, no. No, wait, Kathy, you are, you're just more than welcome to stay with us, you're a family. Oh, <laughs> I know. It's just that, it says here, um, that if I recruit just three of those suckers in 201, I get entered in a drawing to win a jet ski. Dibs! <laughs>